Hey y'all, Rich here with Ruffles and Overalls to bring to you our Camper Reno. This is a 1967 Westwind. Excited to pick up our new vintage camper from a local campground. A family moved down from Illinois. Let's take a tour. Here's a shot of the exterior. Notice the black windows. Let's take a look at the interior. Here is the dining. Here is the original kitchen. Here is the bedroom with a makeshift bed and the trunk is underneath. Here is the closet and underneath to the left you would see the space for a heater. Demo day has arrived. We're going to start with the dining area and remove the table and seating. Next onto the kitchen where we've removed everything and the paneling as well has been removed. You can see some of the stud work needed some changes and here is where the kitchen was and also where the bed used to be and you can see the gate to the trunk. And there it is again with it open. You can see out the back. And the other side where the closet was is now empty. Let's introduce the crew. I am Rich with Ruffles and Overalls. And here is the family, my wife Meg, and six children. Let's take a look at the exterior where we removed the paint from the windows and took care of the old cock. After numerous hours of removing paint and cock, we finally finished. And now the demo is complete, we are on to installation. Here we decided to replace the old rusty screws on the windows and put in new chrome screws and we also added weather stripping. We're going to head on in now and begin the install inside. We added a 30 amp electrical box. After running the electrical, we tested the lights and outlets to make sure that everything was functional. Once the electrical was complete, we added new insulation. The paneling we chose was shiplap cut into six inch wide pieces. To attach the shiplap, we used a nail gun with three quarter inch nails. We used a jigsaw to trim the corners. Using chalkboard paint on the door allowed us to write on it for events. Upon completion of the walls, we moved on to paint and we decided to use white for the color because we felt it was simple and clean and we thought it brought about a lot of light in the room. And we wanted to paint our floor with a stencil. This was a, one of two options that we did in the beginning. This is the first and then we moved on to a peel and stick tile by Floor Pops, and this is the Comet style. We added a box over the wheel well with a barn wood top and shelves above it for additional storage. On the other wheel well, we added a kitchen space with a barn wood top. The exterior, we used a white tractor paint and we painted the stripe in the middle with a green color. The exterior is now complete.
Thanks everybody for coming to watch our vintage camper reno. Meg and I want to invite you to our blog at rufflesnoveralls.com. You can find vintage goods and other information about us.